let me show you how to use your Rode video mic NTG with a PC or a laptop. So this microphone does have both Type-C output and also a 3.5 mm jack output. So you can actually use both to connect it to a device. There is however one huge problem with this microphone which they don't really disclose you and tell you. So if you actually use Type-C to connect it, uh, you can't use this uh, gain knob and it simply won't work, it won't adjust the volume. So I don't know why it's like that. So really shame on your road, other microphones can do that. I mean from other brands, this is completely ridiculous really. So if you want to adjust the gain on this knob, you have to use this output, the 3.5. And really the Type-C is much more advanced technology, so what the hell road. Anyway, for this demonstration, let's use the Type-C output and I will show you how to actually adjust the gain on your Windows computer, basically. As of course it's possible to adjust the gain, just not with this knob. However, the first time when you actually connect it to your laptop and try to use it, I would suggest you to download this app, uh, Rode Central app, basically, and update this microphone. At the four, first, it ships with some version 1, uh, firmware version, version, basically, so, and it will ask you to basically update it here, so make sure to do that, as uh, it will be, uh, for example, before I update, before I didn't update it, it didn't properly work with my phone after I updated it, it worked with more devices and it was better basically. So make sure you update it first. Then there are actually two ways we can adjust the gain of this microphone. So first is uh, uh, like uh, like default Windows uh, guide basically. So you have to basically click uh, with the right click on your like this sound bar basically where you can adjust those sound settings and open that. Then basically you have to scroll down till you see your input and select this as your input. Desktop microphone, Rode video mic, NDG. Then you have to press this uh, button here basically more. And then you can adjust the input volume here. So you can simply have to drag this slider here and the input volume basically will be adjusted. So yeah, the input volume is adjusted here, as I'm talking in the microphone, and when you record something, this will get obviously adjusted. So uh, you don't need to use this gain knob, which won't work in this Type-C mode. Then other way we can adjust the gain and control more settings is if we download this Rode Connect uh, Windows uh, like program basically. So simply search for that and download it. And then we can also adjust the gain here, right here basically. So we can adjust the slider here, or we can click on this microphone thing here, and also adjust the gain in volume metrics basically. Also, we can uh, adjust the high pass filter here as well, and do some other stuff in this app basically as well. Then once you have adjusted all your settings, by the way, there are quite a lot of things we can adjust, and also we got, yeah, kind of cool things here. Then we have to basically open our recording app where we can want to record, is it like a like webcam if you have, or you can maybe use Old City. So let's open Old City, and this is the most popular program probably. Then in this Old City program, you have to basically select uh, this microphone, otherwise it won't record. So you have to head here basically on this audio setup, click that and click the recording device. Then select your uh, input, basically a search for your microphone. By the way, if you adjust the gain using this method, basically where you open the Windows settings, you have to basically search for your uh, Rode microphone. However, if you adjusted your gain using this Rode Connect app, and you have that Rode Connect app open, and you also have adjusted other settings, you have to uh, select this uh, stream input, I think, or vir virtual input, one of those basically. And then you will be able to record if you have opened that Rode Connect app uh, in the background and uh, select that at, like desktop microphone, it won't record it. And that's basically it. We can start our recording here. And yeah, this microphone works pretty good this way. However, if you want to use this set 3.5 output, you really need uh, to get the correct cable for this. And also you need to make sure that your laptop or computer has got the proper input port for this. So you need to get this TRRS cable, 
as you see it has got three black rings so the regular uh, like uh, the regular cables are with two black rings and those uh, really won't work with these microphones and you also you might hear like a crackling sound so if you hear the sound is crackling really check your cable if you have the correct one also i will leave in the description a link where you can get this correct cable if you need it and if the sound quality is no good basically for you then also you actually need to be sure that your uh, laptop or computer basically has a microphone input so i do have some kind of microphone input however on this laptop it's not working properly uh, as i don't know it's some kind of uh, weird problem on my other thinkpad uh, it's working properly so yeah that's something to think about if uh, your microphone is not working properly you can purchase adapters like this either from type c to this uh, headphone like a uh, microphone input basically like regular usb or type c and then you can simply plug it in a uh, usb hole and you can plug it in through the 3.5 and it will work then and you will be able to adjust the gain knob basically on this uh, device itself so that's a way to bypass it if it's not working and that's pretty much it. If you want to see more videos about these microphones, then make sure to subscribe as I have plenty more videos coming. See you and good luck.